Hello everyone, welcome to Young Innovators. Today we're going to build a line following robot. Let us have a look at the list of components required to build this model. The Arduino Uno is an open source microcontroller board that helps to create interactive projects giving smart solutions via automation. A USB cable is provided along with it to help upload the code onto the Arduino board. L293 D motor driver board is a dedicated shield used to enhance an Arduino Uno or compatible board. It can control four DC or PO motors and can handle more voltage and current per channel, up to 36 volts and 600 milliamps. An infrared radiation sensor or IR sensor is commonly used for simplicity and effectiveness in detecting the contrast between the line which is often black and the surface which will often be white or light coloured. Caster wheels are used to balance the robot. A set of jumper wires, female to female and male to female, are used for making the electrical connections. A set of nuts, balls, spaces and motor clamps are used to assemble the model. The 60 RPM single shaft bio motor is a battery operated lightweight DC geared motor that gives good torque and RPM at lower voltages. Two wheels help the robot move. A 12 volt 1 amp AC to DC adapter is used to power up the bot. To begin, Remove all the parts from the chassis set as shown in the video. The side of the bottom and top chassis with writing on it should face upward. Place the bottom chassis so that the broader head faces away from you while the narrower tail is placed toward you. Attach the motor clamp to the base of the chassis using small screws and nuts. Tighten them. Make sure you attach both the motor clamps so that the holder section is facing outward. Then attach the motors to the motor clamps using long screws as shown. Make sure that the shaft faces outward and that the wires face towards the back end of the robot. Tighten the screws using bolts as shown. Now take a caster wheel and remove its cap. Place it under the robot and align it so that one of the holes of the wheel aligns with the hole in the base. Fix the caster wheel using small screws. And remember to use one nylon spacer between the wheel and the base. Tighten it using a bolt and replace the cap of the caster wheel. Repeat this for the second caster wheel. Now take the wheels and attach one wheel to the shaft of each motor. Secure the wheels using small wheel screws. Tighten the screws and check to see if the wheels are rotating freely. Place the Arduino Uno board on the base. Make sure that the USB port is facing outwards. Slide the long screws into the board. Add two nylon spaces to it as shown in the video. Now secure the Arduino board to the base using bolts. Next, take an L293D Arduino shield. Check the digital and analog pins on the shield. Place the shield on top of the board. Ensure that the corresponding pins align with the Arduino board and then fix the shield on top of it. Now connect the wires of the motors to M1 and M2 of Arduino shield 
as shown in the video. Next, we connect the IR sensors to their holder. Take an IR sensor and a screw. Place the screw inside the hole on the IR sensor. Add a nylon spacer to the screw behind the sensor and then attach it to the holder. Bolt it as shown in the video. Repeat the process for the remaining sensors. Add nylon spaces to each screw. and insert it through the side holders. Bolt it as shown in the video. The next step is to make the connections. First take the female-female set of jumper wires. Connect one from VCC of IR sensor to plus 5 pin of Arduino shield. And then another from the ground of IR sensor to the ground of the Arduino shield. Repeat these connections for all three sensors. Next, connect the out pins of the IR sensors to the digital pins of Arduino shield 9, 10, and 11. The connections can also be made to analog pins. Once all the connections are done, we move on to coding. The code for the line following robot is written on Arduino IDE, a software that is compatible to the Arduino board. Before beginning to write the actual code, we need to install a library to help us with the working of the motors. The library can either be added via libraries on IDE, or it can be downloaded and installed. We will be looking at the second method. Go to your preferred search engine and look for AF Motor Library. You will see the following result, Adafruit Motorshield V1 Firmware on GitHub. Click on it. Once the window opens, you can see a green button labeled Code. Click on it. In the drop down menu that appears, select Download Zip. The file should now be downloaded onto your system. Make a note of which folder that download was saved to. Normally, it would be the download folder. Return to Arduino IDE. To add a library, select Sketch from the menu bar, and in the drop down menu, select Include Library. This should result in a pop up window. Navigate to the location of the zip file you just downloaded and select it. Then click on the button labeled Open. If you're installing the library for the first time, it will simply be installed. But if you already have it installed, you will receive a message like the one on the screen. Either way, your code will work fine. You can now start coding. Remember to add the line hashtag include afmotor.h at the very beginning of your code. The syntax for writing it can be seen in this video. Once you've completed your code, you need to upload it to your Arduino board. First, connect the board to the system with the USB cable provided to you. Click on Tools from the menu bar. From the drop-down menu, click on Board and select Arduino Uno. Next, click on Port. The one your board is connected to will have Arduino Uno mentioned in brackets next to it. Select that port. In the video, this is COM7. Now that you are set, you can upload your code. Click on the button with the right-facing arrow to upload your code to Arduino Uno.
To give power to the board, it needs to be connected to a power source. For this, we use a 12 volt, 1 amp AC to DC adapter. We connect the adapter to the power pins of the motor shield. To make the connection, first strip the insulation layers of the adapter as shown. Remove the black cover first, followed by the covers of the individual wires. Then connect the red wire to plus M on the shield and the other wire to ground. Let us now check if the robot follows the black line as instructed. Uh, we see that it is not following the black line. This is likely due to the sensors not detecting the line accurately. To correct this, we tune the IR sensors. For this particular sensor, when you place it over the black line, the onboard LED should turn off. And when you remove it from the black line, the LED should turn on. Once you have adjusted the sensitivity to enable detection, the model is ready for its first run. Now we will attach the top chassis to the robot. Attach the long, thin face holder to the front of the bottom chassis. Fix it there using glue. Place the long metallic spaces to each corner of the bottom chassis. Fix it there using a screw. Once all four spaces are fixed, take the top chassis. Attach the other piece of the face holder to the top chassis, again using glue. Make sure that the opening of the holders are facing in the same direction. Place the top chassis over the spaces. Attach it there using screws. Next, and finally, slide the face into the holders. Your line following robot is now ready. Thank you for watching.